Well, happy birthday, everybody, and welcome to Serial Sleep, where we take cereals seriously. My name is Alex, and I once knew a person who'd lost both of their thumbs in a farming accident, and the doctor ended up replacing them with their big toes. The friend's toes, not the doctor's. Now, I had known this person for years and had greeted him with a handshake many times. I had no idea. Now, I only found out about this because he told the story to introduce himself once at a work meeting that we were both attending. At the end of his story, actually, he ended by giving two big thumbs up. Now, I think that is amazing. And I actually don't think the toes for thumbs procedure is very common. So if you have any replacement thumbs of any kind, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. Today on Seriously, we're going to think small. The world is a big place, and maybe that's why everything seems to be going tiny. We've got baby pickles, tiny houses, mini Doritos in a can I saw the other day at the grocery store. We've had Micro Machines, Lil Wayne, Junior Mints, Tiny Tim, Miniature Ponies, and Ant-Man. There's something comforting in taking something you love and then crunching it down into something adorably small, and that's why today, we'll be taking a look at three new cereals from General Mills. It's their new Minis line, and it features some of the most recognizable and popular cereals in the business. All right, well, I have all three boxes here, varieties that you'll recognize, I think. The first is Reese's Puffs Mini, then we've got Cinnamon Toast Crunch Minis, and then Trix Minis. Now, actually, looking at the boxes here, I'm struck right off the bat that they are not labeled special edition no, or new or limited edition, nothing like that. I feel like cereal companies usually like to put that kind of label on these just in case this bombs, because then if that happens, they can just pull it and say, well, it was only limited edition. Could it be that the lack of any sort of labeling like that means that this is an attempt to establish these as a new permanent type of cereal? That'd be wild. And Okay, we got the Trix Rabbit here. We got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Mini Dudes. For the Reese's Puffs, I've always been struck by this. All they have for a mascot is uh, the Reese's Cup, which actually brings up something about the Reese's Cup. I usually connect Reese's Puffs with something that actually they look much more like, which is Reese's Pieces. Now, if these were based on Reese's Pieces, that actually wouldn't make any sense because Reese's Pieces don't have chocolate. They only have peanut butter and a thin candy shell. I feel like Reese's Pieces is absolutely the next in line in the Reese's family, but it is missing one of the two primary ingredients of what makes Reese's Reese's. That's crazy, isn't it? Still, the, the fact that Reese's Peanut Butter Cup is the only inspiration for the taste, but not only that, but also it's the only mascot in this line of cereals, it's actually not a bad thing because... <laughs> Have you seen the Reese's candy area at the supermarket lately, market lately? It is crazy. It used to just be cups and pieces, maybe king size versions or Christmas trees in the winter. But now, it is a huge area of the candy section by the checkout. There must be 15 to 20 different concurrent variations. There's like Reese's sticks and Reese's take five and Reese's fast break, Reese's popcorn I saw, and Reese's dipped pretzels, all kinds of various snack foods stuffed into the Reese's cups, and then other Reese's products stuffed into the Reese's cups. It's amazing. They only have two ingredients, and yet they are kicking butt. Hey, listen, keep it up, Reese's. Now, remember, the conceit of all three of these cereals is that they have taken some of the most iconic cereals in existence, the ones you and I love the most, and they shrunk them down. These are Tic Tac-sized variations, uh, you know, they're actually smaller than Tic Tac. They're half a Tic Tac. They're tac. <laughs> and of course, that makes a lot of sense with both the Trix and the Reese's. Doesn't make a lot of sense <laughs> for the Reese's Minis because these things are actually spheres. So mini, still spheres. Just to point it out, I'm sure everybody noticed this already, this is crazy that they're right on the box. They are square. It's not just a little mini version. This is a full-on transformation for these little dudes. In fact, I bet you could take nine or 12 of these little minis to make one square of normal Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Honestly, it seems like General Mills just had the mold for this new mini shape, and they also had a ton of that like Cinnamon Toast Crunch seasoning mix, and they just said, 
who gives a rip? Let's just do it. <laughs> because I, even off the top of my head, they have other options. General Mills is sitting on Cocoa Puffs, round, <laughs> and Kicks there, round. Ooh, I actually hope that they do that because I would love mini Berry Berry Kicks. I really like Berry Berry Kicks. But, you know, come to think of it, I gotta respect, they already broke out of the Sphere cereal limitation right out of the gate. Ooh, maybe the future will hold mini, little mini Wheaties balls or mini Fiber One balls. <laughs> Just tiny nuggets of fiber, that sounds good. Well, what do you think? Mini will mean more of these cereal bowls pieces per bowl, right? Is that a good thing? Hey, it's time to eat some cereal. Well, we are gonna try these out. You can see I've got my trusty bowl, my skim milk. I know not everybody's a fan of that, but that's what I like to use. Here we go, which one should we start with? How about, which I think is gonna be the most normal of the bunch, Tricks Minis. Let's break into these babies. All right, pretty easy bag opening. That's always a good sign. Oh, they smell <laughs> exactly like Tricks should. I didn't doubt it for a second, but I can tell you that that's pretty good. Let's give it a splash here of the milk. I got a lot of cereal to get through today, so I'm <laughs> not sure how much I can actually eat, but let's try this. Here we go, everybody. Mmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. 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 You know what? You know what this tastes like? It tastes exactly like tricks, first of all, but it feels like it's already been chewed. <laughs> it's good. It tastes like tricks. Pretty fun. All right, second cereal, let's do this. Trying the Puffs, Reese's Puffs minis. A lot of people have said, people my age, that Reese's Puffs is their favorite cereal. I, I can't even imagine. I feel like Reese's Puffs is a young man's game. But let's go for it, see what it's like. Looks good. Smells peanut buttery. Kind of a bland. Color, I gotta say, for Reese's Puffs. I know there's not much they can do with brown, but it is brown and then brown again. That's not very fun. Let's taste these. Mmm. These are crunchier. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like this. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, the crunch doesn't make it seem as chewed up. Makes it seem like normal people food, like they intended it for it to be the size. Still, it's reminding me like of a, like a topping you put on ice cream or something, not as like a standalone cereal. One more. Hmm. Pretty good. All right, friends, one more. I've been loving this. This is a great idea. All right, we got the cinnamon. This is what I'm most interested in. Like, how did they do cinnamon toast crunch? minis. Oh, bag's not as easy to open. Careful. Careful when you get this one. Oh no, they're <laughs> they're like even more brown or less brown. I don't know. They're more boring than the Reese's Puffs. I guess I don't know what, <laughs> what, I, what did I expect there when they're supposed to be cinnamon. But even when you get Cinnamon Toast Crunch, they've got like swirls on them or you can see it glistening in the cinnamon toastiness of it. Here, they're just tan circles. Boring, but let's try it. Let's see what we think here. Hmm. They taste healthier than the other one. Not probably the cinnamon fooling me into it. Hmm. Well, you know what it is. These are like, they taste like Dippin' Dots, warm Dippin' Dots. <laughs> That's what this is. These mini cereals are warm Dippin' Dots cereals. The cereal of the future. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now I'm actually into it. No, I'm not that into it. I don't know. Hmm. All right, you know what? I would give Cinnamon Toast Crunch minis three out of five. Not that great. Definitely not better than the original cereal. 
Reese's Puffs Minis. Tasted the best, biggest crunch. I love that they're sticking with the Reese's Cup, but only so-so. Three and a half? Are we doing halves on this channel? I don't know, three and a half stars? I don't I haven't decided that either. Three and a half what? Who cares? Finally, Trix Minis. These tasted great. They were the most like Dipping Dots, which I don't know why has become the standard for these cereals, but I would eat more of these. They didn't have the crunch of Reese's Puffs, but they stuck it out of in the flavor department. They really nailed Trix Minis. How hard could that be to taste like Trix? But I give this four stars. I might eat this again as like something that's fun. So that, actually, I'm just noticing something. We're gonna do a test because I am noticing the nutritional facts on these and it can't, it can't be right. So let's put these to the test. All right, so in today's test, we are going to look at the nutritional information on these boxes. It cannot possibly be true. If you think we haven't had enough cereal on today's episode, we couldn't get more. You're wrong, because I have all three of the original sized cereals in this series. This one is Ambush Universe Reese's Puffs. I think that's like a fancy clothes, cool people thing. Listen, I even looked it up and I still didn't understand <laughs> what ambush was. Is it cool clothes? If it's cool clothes, that is awesome. And I'm really glad Reese's Puffs is connecting with them because I like cool clothes. I don't really care about clothes. Here's the thing I noticed about the nutrition though. All right, we've got Reese's Puffs and Reese's Puffs minis. Am I right? Yeah, it says that one cup of this is the same amount of calories as one cup of the regulars puffs. That cannot be. There has got to be more content, more compact nature of mini puffs stuff inside of a bowl of minis because they're just smaller. There's got to be more air when it comes to the Reese's puffs. There's no way they're the same calories. The way we're going to test this is that for each of the cereals, I'm going to pour two cup bowls. Look at how many bowls I have here. I'm going to weigh them because we're going to do science and we're going to figure out how, what are we going to figure out? How much, how many calories per cup there truly are. We're not going to figure out the calories thing. We're just going to figure out if they weigh as much and then I'm going to make an opinion about how that could possibly be. Maybe they're similar and I'm just crazy, but here's my theory. My theory is that the minis are like the 4k version of the cereals. And so just like in your TV, your phone, or whatever, when you move from HD to 4K, it's a pixel density issue. Same thing with the cereal minis. It's got to be that you're just looking at more cereal in a bowl about this size. So let me get set up here, and then one by one, we're going to do the side. All right, I'm not gonna make you sit through all this. Maybe we'll skip through some of it, but I've got my scale from home and I'm gonna put it right here on this. I don't know if that's smart to do on this uh, table cover thing I have, place cover. <laughs> and I'm gonna pour two cups. Let's start with the Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs, let's go. Eighty-one grams. Eighty-one grams is two cups of Reese's Puffs. All right. All right. Get these minis out. 90. <laughs> I knew it. I, I told you there's there's more stuff. There's got to be more calories in there, doesn't there? I think that makes a lot of sense. Let's try the others real fast. You can just see me clip through this. Here we've got tricks already opened it, but oh, they're not even circles. That's not gonna matter, is it? Doesn't matter if they're circles on circles. One, two, 60, 60. That's way less than the Reese's Puffs were. Oh, that's interesting. All right, two cups of the minis. 64, not much more, but still more. I told you, I knew it. Okay, one more, one more. Let's do the last one. So let's do cinnamon toast crunch. Again, this is not, this is not even round. Is this even fair? They're flat. They're just gonna lay on each other. This bag was no good, it ripped. I hate when they rip, that is bad. All right, come on, two cups exactly. One. 
Okay, and what is happening? Why can't I pour? <laughs> 83. Okay, we got 83 grams. I'm working in grams here, by the way. This is America, right? Is grams? It's not metric. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, the minis. Get the minis. This is so much. There's so much of these tan balls in here. 86. My science mind was right. This is impossible that they have the same or even similar calorie counts because there is so much more in every bowl of minis. I'm not saying General Mills is lying. I actually think and I understand that there's, there's a lot of wiggle room in the way these count these calories. I'm just saying be careful out there. If you're counting calories, go for the big boys and don't go for these little tiny mini nuggets because... That, that'll give you more uh, old, on the old waistline there. Well, friends, we have done it all, and I am exhausted. <laughs> we talked, we ate, we tested, and now it's enough. If you want to try today's cereals for yourself, there are links down in the description below. And if you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment with what cereal you think we should look at together in a future episode. Until then, never be soggy, my friends. Bye bye